morning. Good morning, guys. Yeah, we got man. The market is being uh being blessing us this morning. Absolutely, we kill it. And uh, those that are alpha community, we really crushed the market today. We got almost all all the setups that we had on my on mine on watch. You know, we get paid pretty much. Uh, you know, we trade G five, G O B, U B X, N X L. All of them play out very very nice. So kind of like kind of review them. Uh, N X L again. Yeah, like tell like I tell you guys, just careful because uh, they have offerings. They have an S one, so that can actually drop anytime. I'll be very mindful of that. And you, Bix, uh, we actually talk. I actually talk about this one on the video, and I'll tell you how there was a potential move up since we got accumulation and we did that. We got three point fifteen today. This hard this mornings. Now it's opportunity to make some profits. There also we trade a GFI. You know, we get a nice breakout based on the trend, based on the momentum. Even went to seventy three point ninety high. So the day on the pre on like pretty much near opening, very nice move. Again, you guys already know I talk about MKD. This is a long term swing. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna let it play out. I'm really breaking out of the other pan in. I was probably gonna move up towards that 540s. I crack that and open it to six. And EOS, this is another one that I actually mentioned to you guys. Again, those are not for community knows where I'm getting this one, the reason why I'm getting it. Uh, understand that a lot of the times the stocks that have bigger float like this has like 200 million float. It's gonna take some time to play out, right? I mean, we're not looking for you know, for a squeeze today, because again, th this is why this, are, this is a swing trade, right? We're looking for more uh, growth. And if you see how the, the trend is being, every single time moves up to 127, 128 and rejects. Now, in this particular case, today we got some news, right? Which always makes it more attractive, right? Why are we actually getting it? Well, that's one of the main reasons why I actually got it today, because I was looking into this. Uh, we got uh, this huge news that came out on our scanner this morning that they were actually getting uh, I mean, a big investment. And that's really what I really know getting into it, right? Because again, you know, looking at the technical, looking at the fundamentals, I mean, considering this $1, uh, the growth on the investment, is, it was pretty, pretty big, right? I mean, getting almost up to $315 million, uh, from this company investment, that's actually pretty decent. And again, it seems that on the short term, we can easily fill that gap up, Right. Uh, in that gap goes, I believe, from three one point fifty something. Oh, let me check it out. It was from one point fourteen to one point fifty two. So from now to that, I mean, we're talking about probably what another 20, 30, 40 percent. That's if we actually fill the gap. So I'm gonna be watching it again. You know, it's, it's Monday opening, so the volume is spread, right? We get a lot of stocks that have been running, uh, and that's kind of the thing. You know, you guys understand that we guys are trading a lot of uh, you know penny stocks. When this one any more anyone moves to break out, the volume rotates, right? Volume rotation is very important. And that's kind of what the case right now. We have like almost three, four, four runners. So volume is a spread. But at a certain time on the day, when the volume actually consolidates into one stock, the one that has you know the more strong fundamentals. Uh that's gonna be the one that actually is gonna start running up towards the end of the day. Will be uh, you know, uh, after hours, it could actually, you know, get get some type of movement, right? So I believe EOS could be that one. Uh, could be that one that could be a mover probably like towards the end of the day. So that's why I got my position. I'm just letting it play out. Again, I don't mind to wait. You know, we got a trend. We got the buyers. Uh, it's just, you know, let him, let him do his thing. Uh, Daily-wise, weekly-wise, uh, every single time frame is actually signaling a reversal, right? Weekly accumulation. It just broke down the 20 EMA. It's going to close. Uh, again, it's start of the week. So we don't know what's going to do throughout the week, but... I think that I will probably see that. It's very comfortable to me holding here, knowing the, the news and just let it play out. Then I was watching to, the, I was actually watching this early morning, uh, Alder E. This one came out in scanners as well. I mean, it already moved, so I wouldn't touch it. Uh, but again, this is why we are able to be uh, top of the stocks because, you know, came out on my scanner. You see, early morning, they were having uh, plans of construction series that came out at 840 so there was plenty of time to actually get into the stock before that 40 percent move uh but right now i'm just gonna kind of see what we can get as far as large caps uh things are playing out pretty nice uh spy calls are already paying right now from our breakout point we got a trend we got the buyers so you guys should be already green on those calls again i put it out there for you guys as well uh always remember execute wait the levels get in get out right no marry because uh, market can switch that direction really quick. So already, you know, we are agreeing on those spike calls, even on Tesla as well. 
uh, again, I drop it on the community, the alpha community. We uh, we got a, the breakout lows for Tesla from 184.43. We were able to uh, capitalize. Just look at that trend on Tesla. It was very, very straightforward. Once that opening, you got the breakout, you got the close above, you got the bars. You went from 184 to 188. Right, and that was a nice trade. And as you see, it couldn't break out above, right? It tested almost four times one, two, three, almost five times. So, when you see this, right, constant rejection of the same level, what's going to happen is most likely you're going to have a, a, a rejection, right? You also see on the seller, you know, seller side, right? Sellers were accumulating by not being able to break out. And that's what you actually have the rever you know, there's the big reversal down. Okay, so that was a, a nice opportunity. I didn't trade this because, again, I already made my money on this calls, but. That was cool. That cool having another opportunity once he broke the trend down. So I'm probably gonna wait, let it cool down again. You know, big moves happen already. So you know, just gonna let let it settle and then you know find direction before trying to get into something else. Uh, what else? And Nvidia. A lot of people. This is the thing. I'll tell tables. Don't be permables, right? I mean, be is great, but I know a lot of people that have been you know swinging calls and now just you know. Now they're crying and they're complaining. Well, I mean, obviously, because, you know, I told you guys for, for so many days, weeks, the uh, market needed to reverse, market needs, you know, market needs to retrace. That even in B itself, it's not gonna, it was not going to run forever, right? And I know today a lot of people just lost a lot of money because they were swinging. You know, you got Theta eating the value through the weekend, and especially you actually, you know, moved down in pre-market, moved down on opening, literally crushing all those contracts. So right now, I mean, you don't you don't really have clear much that much of a trend. It is flat, but you can you can clearly see how it's rejecting the 60 MA. So that tells you that there's who really has the control right now, the sellers, right? You don't have a clear trend down on the day, but maybe a time for yes, but on the day you still have not, right? Because you know, obviously there is always a chance that it can pop up anytime, unpredictable. But regardless, there is not really clear trade to do today, specifically right now. Very, very unpredictable to do to you know to deal with Nvidia right now. So you say ho, oh, you know, just kind of watch observe. Again, there's no need to uh the force trace uh this first part of the morning. You know, there's a discipline that you guys need to be working on. Beyond that, it's pretty solid. And then WSKSP actually make a I'm gonna make a big big video about this one later in the day because this one I think is actually you know jutting up for a bigger move. It's just patience, you know, this one takes a lot of time to move, but it's gonna pay. It's gonna really, really pay. Yeah, I mean, I was probably paid pretty good. So I'm actually gonna, gonna put the reminder out there, because spot move was actually very, very nice. Well, after our breakout, that was a nice breakout. Right there. You got a bar. You got everything there. Every single thing that you could see. Even right now, it's still respecting the trend, but you see the bars are pretty much gone by now. Then split it is split on. Yeah, we guess see anything else, like anything I can check it out. Oh, you can just drop it on the chat box and I look it up. In the meantime, we actually uh send a reminder on the chat.
to DM ticket, no, I will definitely wouldn't touch that. Uh, I, I mean, even the chart wise, that looks very, very bad. I mean, it's, you know, those sub pennies, it's very, very dangerous to trade. I mean, even the trend looks very, very ugly. I, 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 I wouldn't touch. Not me. It's not my, not my edge. Not my, not my table setup. And then RBO, like I said, you know, there was no uh breakout of the level, right? So it pretty much the trade got invalidated because why? Because it never broke, and then even pre market, they drop an offering. So obviously, remember you have to wait for a breakout. So this is a very important rule that I always tell you guys always. You know, you there is no breakout, there is no trade. You cannot anticipate things. You anticipate that was gonna pay. That's gonna happen, right? Many many times, even if you're playing options, stocks, whatever you're trading, if you anticipate something. You don't wait for clear confirmation. This is what's going to happen. You know, we are not on RBO. I, I did not, I didn't buy an RBO because I was waiting for a nice move, you know, with ball. We didn't have it. So once the offering came out, I was like, oh, no, that's out. I mean, I'm not touching that. So there's no reason to trade that. I mean, really, really, you know, right now, I mean, the setup, you just, you just go to show it. So while I touch it, just move on to the next one. Then Adobe seems to be, uh, I mean, that daily gap up seems to be holding pretty good. But again, they need to crack 535. 535 will actually trigger more more momentum, but it's consolidating for too long in there. Kind of the same rule applies. You know, if it cannot break that, could cool happen a reaction, right? Bar seems to be, you know, uh, slowing down for a minute. So I'll be very cautious there. Uh, you know, if you actually rejects or not. But you see the uh MNKD start moving very, very slow, but it's doing its thing. Uh are you speed? No, I'm not on ASP anymore. You remember we trade this one? I mean, there's no reason to be on this. I mean, we get in, we had a nice move to 5.50, right? Always taking profits, guys. Remember, there is no need for Maryland stock. You see profit, you take profits, you do what you got to do, you know, to stay green, set your stop loss, write your stop loss, you know, scale profits out. You have to do what you got to do, but stay green. I mean, you know, we're not looking, I mean, if we got a hundred more percent, great. But we're not looking for that. We're looking for, you know, grace-based hits, you know, 10%, 50%. We got 20, 30%. That's great. But learn to become, you know, consistent and being profitable by compounding your gains. That's what you got to do. Otherwise, again, that's going to happen. You know, you, the market is going to eat your profits if you don't learn to take profits when you have to. Uh, CrowdStrike, I don't know what's going on with that. Let me see really quick. Daily seems to be having problem right now. You know, you see how the magnet is curling down, buyers are decreasing. It was kind of moving towards the 20 mil, but had another bounce since the market got like a nice boost this morning. It bounced from the 60 mil, but still in between the 20. So I'll probably say that we I will need to see curls above the 20 mil. So then I can say uh we're in a bullish case scenario. If not, I'll just kind of I wouldn't assume. I wouldn't assume. Uh what do you mean your break? How do you find your breakout? Uh, what do you mean? What are my levels? Is that what you're talking about? There are many ways. You know, it could be the EMAs. It could be my uh, my support and resistance lines. You know, it can be BWAP. It can be many, many things. And like I said, EOAs right now, what it needs really to move high needs to break BWAP. But regardless, you know, we only have 25% on this. So I'm just, I don't really care what it does. If it dips lower, I want to buy the dip. So it doesn't really, uh, you know, matters really to what we do. No, I don't. I don't sell. I, I again. I don't say that with limit price. I don't trade with limit prices. I trade with market orders. And I'll say, yeah. I mean, you don't have to trade. I, I put different setups because I want you guys to to you know keep an eye on it. But you don't have to trade all of that. I mean, I can because one, I have the experience, and two, I got a, you know many screens, so I can do it. You can do it, right? Not because again, not because you have three setups. You know, this morning again, those Alpha and Alpha community. This is how I actually you know share my trades on there for anybody that wants to join, but. You see, I gave you one, two, three trades. You got to pick the one that you actually like the most. You don't have to trade all of them. Because, again, you cannot. Physically, you cannot. So you got to get used to that, right? You focus on one you trade with that, and you're happy with that. And I can because I have different things. But I don't sell any prices for that. Uh, I don't know what indicator you're talking about. I don't use no indicator like to to get my levels. I draw my own levels. You know, my support my I draw my own levels. I do know that is I think that is an indicator to to make the levels for you. But again, I don't trust them. I don't use them. 
but trust myself and trust my experience. That's what I use from my levels. Again, I have videos for this. I actually have a video to, to explain you guys how uh, to uh, to draw levels and the EMS understand that the EMS move, right? The EMS, every time frame is different. The one minute, the five minute, the 30 minute, the EMA is going to be different on different time frames. Okay. So it's not going to be the same. You have to watch and see how the EMS is behaving. What's it going to do? And is it retracing? Is it not retracing? If it's breaking it, if it's not breaking it, right? Different things that you might want to keep an eye on it. But again, it seems to most of the market is retracing right now. So kind of we got explosive morning. So this is the time that we actually are patient. We wait, we stay cash and, uh, you know, see what's going to be the next setup that's going to be setting up. But obviously, it's probably it's probably some people uh, is playing the downside. I just don't really like to overtrade after it again, especially if we actually make uh, a good move, you know, good trade this morning. So, you know, pretty nice up in the morning. It was like 23,000 right now so far. So, I'm okay with that for being a Monday. EPOB just moving right now. I think they got some PR right now. Let's come out on the news. Yeah, cheap significant milestone delivery. Yeah, of course. I mean, had to move. And you go hold it. Nice. From 70 cents to 96 cents. Wow, and that daily chart too, man. Very low volume. Not just volume came. 1.12 to the 200 may be given. How interesting to see. Yeah, that's a big move. Mm. again at nvidia like i said uh you know you want to go against the trend like literally as well you know if you guys are not watching the watch list videos the updates and every night i would strongly recommend to do so because all my thoughts are I, I actually talk about them every single night so watch the videos on youtube i mean it helps you a lot literally i told you guys last night we are downtrending. We we have no bars. What's gonna happen? We most likely we're gonna come back down. We're gonna retest the twenty. I mean, that's exactly what we're doing today, right? And then I'll tell you guys, like we possibly if we break that one twenty, we can even go lower, right? I mean, I'm honestly expecting to see like ninety eights, hundreds, so they can load up from a long term. That's really what I'm looking for in Nvidia. And then as far as uh, stops and options, again, I mean, I'll probably say that really this is kind of not really the time to do so there is a lot of videos on youtube that really can help you with that because you know there's really different ways to do it different stop losses to me honestly i don't use stop losses on, on like you know based on the tools i have mental stop losses because i execute my trades based on my own criteria and decision right obviously for beginners it's hard to do that because still you guys are not uh you know used to to deal with this volatility or not really good as your uh you know your execution so i use mental stop losses i don't really use a tool and again, that's probably, I would probably recommend more watch videos. YouTube doesn't help you out more. Because again, it can explain step by step how to do with a tool. That's actually better in my opinion. It really can't really help you with that.
Also, this is another thing. Yeah, I actually literally mentioned this one, this, this thing about yesterday. There's no support. There is no resistance. You say you're buying the support. I mean, there's no support. I mean, we don't have the levels right now. I mean, like real levels, there's not. There is no support. There is no resistance. So this is uncharted territory. I literally said that yesterday. There is no levels. People asking for what's the support, what's the resistance. There is not. We don't have none, right? Because we are, again, on, 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 on levels, numbers that we've never been here. So you cannot say this is a support. You cannot say this is a resistance because you've never been here. You only tap it once, a couple of times. That doesn't make it a support. That doesn't make it a resistance. That's why easily can break down or easily can break out because those are very short uh, numbers that we're just, you know, consolidating. So again, people, watch the videos. I talk every single night. All the information that you guys will be ready for the night before. Come to the market every single day. You have to be ready with the thoughts. Instead of just gambling, instead of just trying to, you know, guess what's going to happen. Right. I mean, you got to put some time to learn to, you know, to listen to those that are trying to help you out. Yeah, man, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, you will know, man. Uh, I do a lot of things on the Alpha community. Check it out, man. You know, we're happy to see you on the Alpha community. I mean, we really did a lot of a lot of things. Uh, you know, this morning I already crushed it on stocks and options, everything. We just already make a lot. Now we're just patient enough. You know, just waiting things come out. Uh, again, there's no really need to force trades. One of the main things I, I enforce to my students is just being patient, letting things play out. Uh, position sizing is very, very important. Right? When to buy in, when not to buy in, why to buy in. Education is very, very important too, to your trading. And that's one of the things I really enforce to my students. Yeah, EOT move crazy this morning. I forgot, I forgot they have data out this morning, yesterday. Don't forget to check it out. Retrade this one, you know, in the past and pay is very, very good. Who knows? This could be maybe the second run. If you unhold it, it needed that what I thought was going to do. Spike those previous highs, 110, 109s. It's looking very aggressive there. Yeah, it's going to go for that 200 main too. I do a lot, man. You know, it really, I have a lot of resources. Again, I have my personal scanners. One of my scanners is only for my students here in the Alpha community. That we, that's how we choose certain stocks. Uh, we get a lot of access to a lot of information. But also, you know, I read a lot. I read a lot. I mean, I have different, uh, you know, paid services too that I have to read, you know, take the time to, to analyze the chart, the fundamentals. It, it really takes time, you know. I mean, to be proficient and to be a, Quick to this, and really, you have to take time to to analyze and read. You know, don't expect to use you know get things given up to you. You gotta use some time to read, learn, get used to that. No, and again, uh, you are in the alpha community, and you will know if I post any a next next long term swing. I don't have none right now because again, it's Monday. I'm just letting things out. Remember, don't force trades, and I would probably I wouldn't probably would recommend to get too many long term swings. Just my opinion. Try to learn to diversify yourself, you know, on different things. Yeah, EPO, that's a nice move. They that have it to find remain now rejection. And then for EOS, I'm probably going to buy. I mean, I will say, because, you know, see how it's holding that support. I think if we come back down to like $1, maybe like 99, 95, I'm going to buy there. I mean, I probably would say that 
I will say maybe maybe one, two weeks, probably. So there's one to play out. Maybe this whole week. Or maybe the next week too. For that gap fail. Usually again, you gotta understand that what happens is that most of the time when the stock pops, uh do the news, right? If pops, some people take profits, scalpers, retraces. Had a little, did we have the morning morning move from the volatility? Very normal. Now we got a retracement. And then now, this is when people, right, load up. Let's maybe start looking, read the news, look at the mirror time frames, and analyze the chart. All right, this actually looks pretty good. Now we load up. Now we start buying those dips. Those are then we're going to see the big move. Again, even in the past, we look this. EOS had huge spikes. To 5.67 to almost 4.60 before those little drops. So the fact that we actually got a big investment on almost this lowest consolidation, I think that we can have a decent move. But we need time, right? I mean, it ain't happen. It's not gonna happen uh, overnight. And again, earnings are coming. Well, they are in August, so I wouldn't really, I wouldn't even worry about earnings right now. Mm, yeah, chilling, chilling, chilling. Let me let me really quick go to the bathroom and I'll come back. But again, in the meantime, uh, again, just uh, drop in the box, chat box. One, you guys want me to check anything else, and I'll do it once I come back. I mean, people killing it. Oh, the alpha students getting done. Hey. It seems MLG owes the one running. Man, that daily is open. Open, open, open.
uh, GameStop, like I said, I always, I always tell people, like, be cautious with that. You know, it, it's something that you are trading with a lot of hype. You know, I don't really... I, I honestly, I don't even trade, <laughs> but it's too much. And many people got stuck already. You know, they want to run out to the 68. Once again, you know, don't let people... You know, tell you what to do. Don't don't follow. Don't don't be a sheep, right? Everybody say, oh yeah, it's gonna go to hundred again. You know, it's gonna do this and that. Well, those that were like around when he went like to sixty dollars, now they're losing a lot of money, right? From sixteen to twenty, those are ridiculous to be down. So again, don't be be smart. You know, be just owner of your own decisions. Now just do what everybody else do. Otherwise, you are actually gonna get stuck. Well, it's not looking good because really right now, based on technicals, can come back down to to twenties. And maybe has small, what, 18s, 19s, probably. That's if he doesn't change the trend. Then I want Sohn. This one, I suppose, had a kind of quite a move, but, uh, you know, came back to the 200 May. So I will be really careful here. If he breaks that 200 May, they can actually go much, much lower. He has a gap to fill down to like 2.69, I believe, 250s. So breaking that 200 May is going to go much, much lower. So remember, this plan is still not investments. You know, there are trades. You don't get stuck on those on those uh on those stocks, really. Uh, KTRI. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't add right now. Really, it's not looking good. Pretty much trying to break the trend. You have no buyers. This can easily come back down to like 17 cents again, 16 cents again. And even then, depending on if it is in the news or not, it's going to even go to like 14s or 13s again. So not something that I will buy right now. Daily chart as well, you know, so you're seeing more downside as well. You know, if, if I buy his own push here, which it seems they won, and you're going to have more downside. So I just wouldn't, I wouldn't touch. I mean, I wouldn't touch it. Two weak bottoms. What are you talking about? I don't know what weak bottoms are talking about. But the thing I said is that same thing here. It's uh you got a, a gap down to fill. I mean, I'd rather extend it. I wouldn't be surprised to see a retracement for that gap on the 20 minutes out of 467, 468. That's a possible, you know, uh, move. I really believe what they issue dividends today. So then as well, that's actually usually when uh, dividends are issued, that tends to be bearish for the stock based on price action. I'm going to have a retracement down. Well, we are out of, we are out of ten XP. Joseph, why? Uh, I'm probably looking to buy again. If we come back down to like seventeen, one point ten, one point eight, again, it's no need to marry stocks. You know, we got a decent move. We take what it gave us, and then we move on to the next one. You know, it's breaking the trend. It's not looking good, really. So easily can break one three one eighteen, come down to one oh eight, one oh nines. Then probably think about it. Not right now. You know, can't marry stocks. Hmm. Let me say an Excel trying to do something here. 
Bravo looks interesting. What happened one minute two? No, not really. I wouldn't say try and again. I mean, you just had a big trace, man. You are below the twenties. You're barely just re you're barely trying to reclaim the sixty. You're below BWO. You have no buyers. I wouldn't really. You know, even volume is drying up. So this is not really the best scenario or the best stock to trade right now. I mean, not right now. You don't have a setup right now. Don't guess. I mean, guys, there's something that I always tell people. Don't, don't just guess. I mean, don't be like, oh, uh, should I buy here? I mean, okay, what is your thinking? Why do you think you should be buying there? Right? What's your reasoning? You got to analyze that. You know, don't just be gambling. You got to understand why are you buying something. Mm -hmm. The most market is retracing right now. Almost everything. Spy knife in, Tesla knife in, be the knife in. Yeah, I mean, this could be the the retracement that I talk about, right? And tell you guys, I will. I'll, I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna tonight. I'm gonna come out to, to use and be like, I told you so, because I've been telling you. I literally tell this. <laughs> like this is a. It's so predictable in a way that market can. Needs to it, it can be up there forever. Even last night as well, you know, I'm making my weekly watch list that is only available for my students, and I literally say about the media, right? The bars seem to start to give up, and this could be the start of that retracement, right? So, a lot of things I mean, my students were prepared, you got they read, they were ready for this. GRDI seems to be looking good. The other looks pretty strong. To be honest, man, I wouldn't buy shares right now. I mean, you you are you know what's best is isn't better to wait for when it settles instead of buying the falling knife. You know, you're just wasting money. Buying as it goes down instead of you know waiting for the bottom out at some point or seeing that giving that um possible same that it bottom out then buy there. So what I'm waiting for, I'm not buying right now. I mean I don't see a reason to be buying right now when I know and when I see the market falling down. Why will I buy right now? Not even not even accumulating it, it's really uh it's really recommendable here. So and and especially and I don't even swing options and i wouldn't even recommend to doing that because you don't know right you just cannot know even if you go along these calls you're just parking money uh for no reason that's the way that i'm seeing things Oh, MLG up and it's going crazy one. I mean, yeah, that daily was really. Open up.
this one not this now one is going crazy too this one doesn't have this is actually you know a blue sky setup b i mean that what i move this one i mean it cracks 20 dollars you could like a level it can open up the bcfd as well looking kind of interesting they regain compliance they they raise the stake as well looking at a weekly chart you're looking at a daily chart nice bounce we'll have a little recovery there maybe again i don't know i'll watch i'm serving i'm not in a rush you know there's no rush for me to buy i'll just watch it let things play out when i feel comfortable when i see a nice bounce that's when i get in otherwise no need to push or rush things up yeah but other than that, we're solid guys so i'm gonna go do something again. I'm gonna be in chat, and again, those that are not for community, I'll be there. So, if you have any question, let me know. Uh, just type in the chat, and I'll be there. Okay. Other than that, market seems to be slowing down, so don't force things up. It's eleven o'clock. We got pretty nice moves. Now's when again. Now's when your patience should still be cooking in. Now that's when you actually should be saving your money, trying to assess, study, see what what what's gonna we do next instead of you know guessing. All right. So again, I'll see you guys on the uh, on the chat.